since none of us have really been to Pusan before, like the actual city, we hired a tour guide for it today. Actually, it wasn't too expensive. So our first stop is going to be the fish market because Busan is the second biggest city in Korea and it's the first biggest harbor city, which I just learned from the tour guide. So I'm just going to reiterate everything that he says, but not as dope because the way he says it is Busan is the number one biggest harbor city. And I say it the regular way, but you see all that fish back there. And we're going into this building right here. Whoa, whoa, look at that big crab. Whoa. You wanna touch it? Did I actually do that? Ah! Did I do that? <laughs> yeah, you can touch it. Good job. Ew, 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 ew. Did it, does it hurt? Does it actually hurt? It's spiky. If he moves fast, it'll hurt. But, but, but look, you can touch it, look. So you can touch it like this. And this is snow crab. Oh. Yeah. Whoa, look, look at all the shellfish. Look, 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 look. What? Oh, the sea urchin. Sea urchin. Yeah. Wow, look at all of these. That's pretty cool. Sea squirt. Sea squirt? Yes. We oh. cut it in half. Yeah. Take the uh, inside the flesh out. Yeah. It's such a melting. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, okay. Sea squirt. Monge. Sea squirt. Monge. Is that octopus? Can I put it on my hand? No. Ah! Hey, monkey man, you should feel it. Monkey man. Monkey, you should feel it. It feels crazy. No, feel it. It feels crazy. <laughs> Everything looks so fresh. Like they just caught it. Look at that crab trying to get out of here. That's crazy. Everything looks so fresh. Even all the different types of crab that they have. You squeeze it. <laughs> hey, hey, you're peeing everywhere. <laughs> hey. This is okay. It smells okay? Yes, it smells okay. It smells okay. Can I squeeze one? Can I squeeze one? Uh, yeah, okay. 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 Okay, you squeeze it. You squeeze it. You squeeze it again. Oh, okay. This is okay. Squeeze one. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, don't drop it. Wow, look how big these fish are. Whoa. So that snapper, that's the sashimi that we always eat with the red scale. That guy is delicious. Oh cool, so this is the harbor. And this is dope because you see all the homes and the buildings right across. And it's really colorful and it's all built into the uh, mountainside. Look at that. That's beautiful. Here's the uh, big old harbor. Ooh. Are you gonna jump in? No way, Jose. I'm too smart for that. Too smart for that trick. So one thing I just learned is uh, all these fishing boats got hella light bulbs on them. And what's really cool about these light bulbs is as they go out to sea, originally I thought, oh, it must be for visibility so they don't crash into each other, but it's actually to attract the fish. So I believe uh, squid and swordfish really like following the light. So all of these boats got hella lights on them, like a ton. All right, so we're at the very first man-made sand beach in Korea, made I think 1912, 1913 by the Japanese, during the Japanese occupation, during the Chosen Dynasty. Yes, I'm very smart on all these things. So usually, you know, most of the coast looks like this, it's rocky, but they built that sand beach so that people can swim. And the reason why it took so long is because Korea is such a Confucius-based society at the time that people didn't want to really expose anything. It was against the rules. But since Japan took it over, and I believe Japanese people love their aquatics, they built that sand beach over there. And this thing is called the Skywalk, where you're able to walk above water. And you have that cave over there that you get to continue to explore all of this without having to get wet, which is pretty cool. Why are you, why are you smiling at, young? Such a cool view of the bay. We got our group over there. Got these super tall buildings, this little lagoon. Got the monkey man over here. Got that sand beach. Curves all the way around. And hopefully we go on those gondolas tomorrow. Songdo Yonggang Suspension Bridge is what we're gonna go on. Right here. 
Hey, dude. Oh, why? Don't do that. He's the one that's a Korean beatdown. So we're on the suspension bridge right now, which is super cool. It's built on top of a mountain. And you can see that it allows you to come to the top of this mountain without being an expert <laughs> climber. Because you can just walk on these pretty cool... Oh shoot, I didn't even realize these stairs that you can see all the way down. That's insane. It looks... Okay, at first it didn't look scary. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And now I look down and you can just see the free fall drop and I'm like, that does look scary. Look at that. At the same time, it's very, very cool. At the same time, you feel this whole staircase shake and hover because it is a suspension bridge. And now all of a sudden it turned into a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Look at that. But it's pretty dope though. Let's see if I can show you the water. Yep, right there. There's the water right there. See that? How cool is this? So we're in this colorful village called Kamchan. And that, that's what we saw earlier from afar, but now we're in it, in it. And look how colorful this place is. Whoa. Ooh la la. Zhongkwa. So here's a history lesson we just learned from the tour guide. During the Korean War, all the South Korean war refugees lived on these mountains. There's no running water or electricity during that time. It's just about survival. And anyone that was trying to survive would just find a place to build a house and just live. And in the 70s, Korea was literally one of the poorest places in the whole world. He said it was even poorer than Africa. But because of the 1980s economic boom, uh, it turned this place, like all the young people went to Seoul and started finding jobs. And then in the 2000s, it became Kuzan's Machu Picchu project to turn this like abandoned village into like a tourist attraction. So it's really cool to see how like through creativity, ingenuity, you could really turn things around. And shout out to the Korean people for literally like transforming their entire country and economy in a short like 30 years dude 30 years is insane if you think about it i'm 40 years old now they did all of that in my age it's incredible okay so i'm gonna get my coin exchanged thousand won okay okay the wood box doesn't want your money <laughs> Hey! Grab that. Okay, now where do we go? We can do a couple. We could do the year. Okay, let's give so Papa good luck. Come here. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's turn it. Keep turning. Keep turning. One turn. Whoa, we need some elbow grease. Okay, now we need a crack. Yeah, you can break it. Okay. Okay. Please hold us. Okay, you ready? Yep. No, 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 wait. I think you put it. Yes. Put it in the bin. Not, not hard, not hard. Ready? Just a gentle, gentle. No, hold it. Okay, I might break my fingers off. No, you're trying to crack that open. Okay, there. There you go. There you Keep go. Going. There you go. It's open, it's open. <laughs> oh, cool. Not yet? No, okay, not again. There you go, there you go. One more time. A little bit harder. There it is. Is this supposed Open to take it. that long? <gasps> Ooh. It's all Korean. It's all Korean? Yeah, it's all Korean. Oh, we'll never know. Maybe it's a good luck charm. Good luck chance. And give it to Mario. Maybe she can read it. Hold on, okay, let me so she's gonna read my fortune, and it's gonna be 100% accurate because Mario's reading it. It says, "Be aware of your luck. It's not gonna be around." And it's not gonna be around. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my god! Don't scare me. No, I said that your luck that's around you is going to follow you around and resolve all the issues oh, that's been okay. that you've been having. Okay, that sounds good. I like that. Uh, I like that. No. Nope. Hi. Yes. Yes. We're all asking her for translation. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm in the main road of this town, and there's only one. The only road that is capable of cars driving through. Which is pretty insane when you think about it. Because the rest of this village is all 
walking only. No one has a driveway. No one has a garage. So if you were to like get groceries or run errands, you have to do it only by walking, which based off of the infrastructure of this town, I'm assuming it's probably gonna be pretty far. So that's how people lived for many, many, many years. It's just kind of reminds me of like uh, some of the neighborhoods in uh, Brazil too, right? It just built into the hillside. It's pretty crazy. See, look at that person walking. That's their life. All right, so we ended our tour at this market, and just like a lot of Asian markets, it's popping. It's the kind where there's a ton of aisles, tons of stalls, tons of street food. So we sat down at this one because somehow we were magically able to make a bunch of us fit. Got one group over there. Ooh, then got some bomb noodles. And uh, we ended up getting two bowls of udon, this pancaking, which is insanely good. And then also some dumplings for the young buck. And some Sprite. Some what? Some Sprite for... I don't know what you're saying. You know what he's saying? Sprite. Oh, and some Sprite for the young man. For, for, oh, for you too. I see. Okay. So what's pretty nuts is this was uh, the shanty houses of what I showed you back in 1950s. This is how small it is. Look. It's tiny. Go inside, monkey man. Look how... Hey, why are you right by my house? Get out. <laughs> sure. It's literally the size for like one hey, little kid. And whole families will live in here. That's insane. These are some of the things that they used to use. Next up, we got some fresh made kimbap with all these Mariel, veggies in there. You're not gonna order, Ooh, are you? Ooh, that looks bomb. Sorry, I'm gonna Let's share see. with our friends. I'm gonna grab one for myself. That's good. That's good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Smoky Man loves them too. Skinny. Oops. Look at that. Alright, so the udon came out. I was super in the mood for some udon. This broth looks so clear and good. That's very good. And then some dumplings. Very hot. Also very good. Back in the hotel. Just had about 30 minutes worth of pillow fighting, which is why our beds look insane, but it was super fun. And here's some evidence. Who do you think won our pillow fight, mister? Me or you? Or Ty? <laughs> oh, I saw that. Well, anyways, we're gonna keep uh, staying settled in and enjoy our community time. And we'll see you guys tomorrow as we explore more of Busan. I see a munchkin down there. Two, go. Say, say, you see a little munchkin, okay? Okay. Here, I see a little munchkin. <laughs> 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 <laughs>